Hey, welcome back to the Wicked Kitchen. Quarantine edition, you guys. Special, special episodes because I'm stuck at home. I know you're stuck at home and I'm trying to keep myself busy. So I hope you are enjoying these videos. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make some amazing vegan barbecue. All different kinds of veg that you normally wouldn't see barbecue. So let's get to it. So what we're working with today is three vegan barbecue main dishes. And I'm gonna use three different sauces, three different veg. Uh, and I don't think these are a common thing. They are in my house, but I think this will be really helpful for anybody uh, barbecuing because it is barbecue season and it is nice weather outside. So we're gonna hit the barbecue for the first time this year and we're gonna film it. So we're gonna do some aubergine or eggplant for since I'm in America. Eggplant, aubergine, same thing. And I'm gonna do cabbage. So I did hot box cabbage. You can find the hot box cabbage recipes right there. Super simple. And that's how we cook these, except these are round and that last video was cone shaped. And we're also gonna do another butternut squash. And that recipe is right there. We've done it twice already now. So I'm just taking the lead from where we left off. And a couple of jalapenos for shits and giggles. So let's get into it. First thing I wanna do is with the aubergine, I'm just gonna take one and show an example. And take the whole thing right here and just slice it right down the middle. These recipes are so simple, you guys. So open, put it in a pan like this, preheat the oven to 200 degrees Celsius, 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and just pop it in. And then what happens is you all of a sudden Pop it out. Look at that, it's freaking magic TV. So this is what it comes out like, all right? And what we do with this, it's really super, super simple. It's just a matter of scooping it with a nice sharp edge of a spoon. Put it right on the end here, and then drag it down. All we're trying to do is keep one piece just like this. So you'd get the whole aubergine filet. All right, and just do that with all of them. So however many you do, this is how you're gonna treat it. So, I know I made that look super simple, so it is that easy. Slicing the eggplant in half, aubergine in half, popping it in the oven, it cooks about 15, 20 minutes. You wanna feel for that softness and so it's done, so you know. So it, it'll start to wrinkle. It looks like it'll wrinkle, like it's starting to become a raisin. Uh, and then you just pull that out, chill it down so it's cool enough for you to handle, or even overnight, and then just make the fillets like that. So then with these, and you can see I've already done them here, and I marinated them. And so this one's in barbecue sauce, and this one is in sweet chili sauce, and these have been sitting overnight, getting really well marinated. So all we're gonna do with this is dip it into the barbecue sauce. And this is all I did, except I put it into the bag to marinate overnight, but this is as simple as that. One's barbecue, and the other one is chili, but I'm gonna do these two barbecue here, just to keep my fingers in. And then that's, that's that one. And then the longer you marinate, the more flavor it is. Okay, so we have the aubergine. It's right here. I'm gonna put that all in these. It smells delicious, you guys. Been sitting unleash the sweet chili one. So it's just a matter of buying or making fresh sweet chili sauce, which I'll have to do a video of that soon. But we do have a barbecue sauce, and that is right here. Brother Chad did that one or Brother Chard, I call him. Because um, he likes to call me dirt, so I call him Chard. And that is nice. I mean, that's delicious flavor. Save the bags, wash them out. Next one we're gonna do is the butternut. So for the last video we just shot, we did the, uh, we did the vegan Easter. So I did a butternut squash filet. We'll just do steaks with these. So like about this thick. This thick. So I have a few 
And then this one will be a little extra thicker. How about I just do two thinner ones? Yeah. The trick to making these amazing is to make sure that you don't overcook them. You know, we, I explained it in the other videos. It's just a matter of cooking it just so that a skewer goes through it very easily and then that's it. And then let it cool. I let this cool overnight and then peeled it. Take a little bit of a, I have barbecue spice here. I'm just gonna put this on the plate. And I'll put these, <clears throat> press them in just to get them nice and coated. Okay, so you see it's coated very well on all sides. And this will give it, it'll be a really nice char when you add it to the grill and then with the sauce, it'll make it super delicious. Okay, so we have the butternut ready to go. And then we have cabbage. So I'll start with the red one here. Oh man, that's freaking beautiful. Two and three. Okay. That looks gorgeous. It's beautiful. Uh, and we're gonna do sweet chili on this one. So I'm just gonna lather it with the sauce. And let it sit here. That's great. Mm. You know, I'm a big fan of getting your hands in there. Obviously, make sure they're clean and you washed them. Again, for the other cabbage. Now this one, because I let it sit overnight, I left the outer leaf on. I'm just gonna peel this off because it's a little bit dry. It's too big for anything else, having two of them in the fridge. So I just left it in the fridge just like that. Okay, so for this one, I wanna do the barbecue sauce. I am gonna use a little bit of that barbecue powder. So we have the Wicked Kitchen barbecue spice and seasoning. I don't have that here. So I picked up one that was on the shelf at the supermarket. The one I have in Tesco is amazing. It's a little bit more spicy. This is a sweeter one. I'm just gonna press that in and I'm gonna rub it in. So I'm using very little oil in these recipes, you guys, if any. I don't think I've even used any, if I'm correct, so far. So for all you no oil buffs, these are great recipes. I'm all about flavor, so whatever works the best is what I'm gonna do. And so this one I'll throw on the grill just like this and we'll baste it with the barbecue sauce. Okay, I'm getting ready. Bring everything out to the barbecue. I'm gonna need tongs. I don't have any basters. I'm gonna have to use a wooden spoon. We're good. We're using what we got. We're in quarantine. This is special quarantine lockdown edition. Lockdown. We got it. Okay, so let's head out. Let's take these out first. Let's head out to the grill. All right. <laughs> Man, I gotta get a bigger door. It's so spacious in there though, you guys. All right, let's walk over to the grill. Whew. All right, so. I think this is the first time we're outside. It feels feel like a pleasure and an honor to be with you guys. So I got the had the grill going. It's like not as hot as I would really like it to be, but I've had it going for a good 20 minutes. So it's about 400. As hot as you can get it. Let's throw these some of these things on. The aubergine. I want to get right down in here. Oh, amazing. And I'm just gonna throw these jalapenos on here anyways, just to have them. And I'm gonna season a little bit more salt. And a little bit more pepper. And the cabbage, gorgeous. So with the cabbage, right? So 
So it's a barbecue rub and a little bit of the hoisin sauce here. Could have done this inside, but you can also do it outside. A little bit more sauce on this one. And that looks beautiful. So I'm gonna close this and we'll wait about five minutes, seven minutes before I check it again and then flip them over. If you're like me and you run the grill, you understand and you feel that timing and you, un you know how to do it. So with these, I want to treat it just like I used to cook meat, but I'm cooking these beautiful, amazing vegetables. Never any need to kill shit for flavor. So let's get this. We'll be right back. All right, so let's check these bad boys out. I'm gonna start, these were the first on, so you can see it's getting a little bit of color. I kind of wish the grill was a little warmer, but it'll deal, it'll do. That's all right. Quickly learning where the hot spots are. Oh, there's a good one. That's good, that's good. Beautiful, some of these are beautiful. That's looking good. It's not grilling as much as as good as I, oh, that one looks good, nice and burnt. Nice thing about the cabbage is you can just peel off the burn, but I'm gonna leave that on there for the flavor. What I'm gonna do with these, because we have the barbecue on it, I'm just gonna dip them right in the sauce. Quick, nice little marinade. Throw that right on there. I'm gonna do that with all of them. Look at that. Delish. Look at that. So everything's coming along amazing. It looks great. Guaranteed something's gonna stick to that grill, but who the cares? We'll shut that again for another few minutes. All right, so I'm gonna start to pull off some of these, arrange them on the, on the pan here. That looks great like that. I'll just put that right there. Definitely some of these grills, those hot spots. I am gonna remo remove the cabbage. Look at that, it's beautiful. Look at that. It's great, it's great. Okay, now I'm gonna shut this and let that rest of it burn off. Take this inside. All right, guys, there we go. The barbecue bonanza. We have the aubergine, two different kinds of cabbage, the red and the green, the butternut squash, and just the jalapenos for fun. Thanks for sticking around. Appreciate it. If you guys could, please leave a comment, subscribe, and I'm stuck at home, so I know you're stuck at home. Stay safe, stay home, and we will see you soon. Clean it up. Always clean up after yourself. And I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm not going in there with this though. <laughs>